books to some degree. Um, but if you want to hear something crazy, I only started selling books and having you know some modicum of success when I gave up. I really only started selling books when I gave up. I don't mean to say that I gave up on marketing the book, um, but I sort of surrendered the notion that it would sell a certain amount of copies or make a certain amount of money. I became so disappointed or frustrated that I just threw up my hands and said, you know, I, I can't even worry about that stuff. I'm going to go insane. I'm going to drive myself, you know, uh, mad, you know, with trying to sell these books. Um, so I started realizing, I changed my mindset a little bit. I started realizing that it was really a marathon, not a sprint. Um, you know, as an author, you're, you're selling a book, but you're building a brand. And definitely when you do book marketing, social media, book marketing, online marketing, Keep the big picture involved that you're no different than Coca-Cola and Nestle and uh, the NBA and any other company, any other uh, service. You're, you're really branding yourself. You're branding what the, the reader or the user is going to get, what kind of experience. Um, so it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. When you put out a book or a piece of art, you know, that's your legacy. That's going to be out there, uh, you know, forever, really. And so it may be a year from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. But by being persistent, you will find your audience, they will find you, and, and it will have success. Um, I also began to judge success by one happy reader or literary friendship, as I call them. Like we said, that supermarket meeting only via social media. So I began to judge success by one happy reader at a time. Uh, it was a great change, getting my mind right. And uh, before I knew it, I'd found my target market. Uh, people were talking about my book via social media on their own without my prompting or, or putting their feet to the fire, asking them to do it. And I was really having fun. I was having a blast with it because I'd given up all, uh, all the negative stuff and the expectations. And I was meeting amazing new friends, a bunch of new interesting people uh, via social media. Um, but I wasn't still, I wasn't really concerned with the sales numbers. Uh, it was opening up media and networking opportunities. Uh, I never would have even imagined. And, uh, you know, boom, one day I, I looked up on Amazon and, uh, South Normal had hit the top 10 list for its genre, um, which makes the book, uh, you know, Amazon at least bestseller. And you know what, that was nice, but I, I still didn't, uh, really overly concern myself with the sales numbers and you know all that stuff. Uh, I was having so much fun with the book and meeting so many cool people that that was really the reward. It was uh, seeing my art out in the world and people enjoying it was more fun than any, any sales numbers or anything like that. And this was all because I changed my mindset. You know, my I don't give a shit, excuse my French moment. Um, I, I really don't think I would have done anything. I don't think, I think I would have burnt out in this industry. Um, I think to be in it long term, you have to have your mind right. You have to do it for the right reasons. And you have to be ready to weather the storm and, and take on some disappointment and, and grow a thick skin very quickly. And I mean very quickly. So, you know, you could do that if you have fun and if you have your mind right. Um, and, and loosen up, lead with your passion. It's not life or death. Um, definitely do it for the art and for the love. Um, the most important thing to realize about book marketing or really any marketing, it's, it's not about the author. It's not about you. The benefit to reading the book, the attraction has to be all about the reader and the reader's experience. Um, now, of course, even though I said I gave up and I surrendered and this and that, I still perform the necessary marketing activities just with the right mindset, you know, uh, be very personal when you write your book and be very almost dispassionate and disconnected when you market your book. Um, and, and that's because it's treated it like a business, the marketing side of it, and you won't get burnt out. You won't become disappointed. Um, you won't get uh, upset by every bad review or every person that doesn't buy it. So basically, you know, with, with book marketing, just think of it as having a huge online party, social media book marketing. Um, you're in, inviting as many people as you can trying to share the book and, and uh, the enjoyment or the entertainment they're going to get out of it. And that's just marketing. I mean, that's a great way to think of marketing instead of, you know, just selling, 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 think of it as a big online party and you're inviting people. Um, it's not about you. So celebrate the readers, the book, the lifestyle values, you know, what you have in common with those readers of your target market. 
and people will be attracted to energy when you're you're having fun, you're passionate, you're energetic, but you're not trying to sell. And sooner or later, they will come to you, um, and success will find you.